Hey there, it's true. Solar is likely to die in California on the 14th of April, 2023. NEM 3.0 goes into effect. That is really, really bad news for anybody who's thinking about going solar in, in California. My name is John. I run MySolarHome.us, a YouTube channel that's focused on solar, solar panels, educating you on solar, and helping folks go solar. So what's going to happen on the 14th of April? California is implementing something known as NEM 3.0 starting the 14th of April. And what that's basically going to do is it's going to make the solar is going to make solar pretty much unviable for most folks there. So what the heck is NEM 3.0? NEM 3.0 refers to a policy set forward by the California Utility Commission by which the grid companies, the utility companies, are not going to pay for the power that you generate through your solar panels. Or rather, they're going to pay you one-fourth of what they used to pay you earlier. Now, here's how solar works. The solar panels on your roof during a bright day, they make a lot of energy. During the day, most of that energy goes into your home. You use whatever is required, but whatever is excess and not used, it's shot out to the grid. It goes out to the grid and they can send it to your neighbor for, for, for your neighbor to use. Now, what that means is most of the power that you generate in the day, it actually goes out to the grid. You use maybe 25-30% of it in summer, 70% goes to the grid. Now, what California utility companies have decided is that they will not give you credit for all the energy that you're sending out to them. So if you send them 100 units of energy, they're only going to give you credit for 25 units. The way solar works in almost every other state in the US is if you give the utility company 100 units of energy, they give you a credit for 100 units of energy too. It's a one is to one credit. So you do not lose any of that energy you send out to the grid. But in California, boom, with NEM 3.0 on the 14th, you send out 100 units of energy, they only give you credit for 25. That means your economics for your solar goes for a toss. Earlier, solar used to have a payback period of just five to six years in California. Now it's gonna double. So understand how NEM 3.0 is gonna really pull the rug out of California homeowners. You gotta understand how solar normally works. In a regular home, solar works during the day. It produces a lot of energy. Part of that energy is used by the home but the rest of it, which, which could be 60 to 70% of what they produce in the daytime, especially in the summer months, it goes back to the grid. And they can then sell it to your neighbor or they can sell it to your neighbor's neighbor. They can do what they want with it. Normally speaking, in most of the states in the United States, including California up till the 13th of April, they give you a full credit for whatever energy you export to the grid. Now, how is that helpful to us? It's helpful during the nighttime. Now, at night, there is no sun, so hey, you have to get energy from the grid even though you have solar panels. But since you exported and you gave energy out to the grid in the daytime, you have a bank balance with them. You have a balance credit of energy stored with the energy company, with the utility company. And when they send you that energy at night, they offset it against your bank balance or your energy credit bank balance. The way we design solar systems is that you give enough to the utility company so that you don't get a bill when you use energy at night. All that energy is more than offset by what you produce in the daytime. Same thing happens in winter because you have shorter days, the sun's not shining all that much, your solar is, is, is now making enough energy to power your home. But hey, the bank balance that you built up during the summer, that's going to take you through the whole winter. Now, after NEM 3.0, since you don't get credit, since you don't get full credit for the energy that you give to the grid, you're going to end up with a much, much smaller bank balance every day. It'll result in you being billed for the energy you consumed at night. Maybe half of it gets offset, but the other half, you'll get a bill. In the winter, you'll start getting a bill. If you're saving two to three grand every year on electricity from solar, after NEM 3.0 goes into effect, boom, your savings will become maybe 750 completely kills the economics let's look at this in actual operation all right so this is a regular net metering program which you have incidentally now up till the up till the 13th of april anybody who wants to go solar 
please email me john at mysolarhome.us i'll help get you i'll help you go solar and you will get into the current program where this is kind of what is happening every month for example in the month of april if you look at this home your solar system gave 700 units of energy to the grid which is the out and it used 450 units and it consumed 450 units so the difference between the two is the excess energy that you sent out to the grid so that's set that's 250 units you sent out to the grid in april if you look at may 600 units were used in home 900 units were sent out so an excess of 300 units was exported to the grid you in the month of may you gave another 300 to the utility company so the utility company actually keeps track of what you gave them versus how much you use so in the month of april since you gave them 250 units you have a credit balance of 250 now you gave them another 300 in may your credit balance now jumps to 550 and similarly in the months of june and july these are really sunny months you keep sending more power more energy to the grid your bank balance keeps your credit balance of energy keeps going up 550 to, to 1050 to 1450 this solar system for example in the four months exported 1050 units of energy to the grid and the grid gives you full credit for 1050 units but boom from 14th of april onwards instead of you getting a credit for 1050 units you'll get credit for just 450 units that is insane utility companies are having a field day in california they sell you power they sell you energy at retail rates 30 cents for a kilowatt hour and when they buy it off you they buy it off at wholesale rates seven or eight cents unfortunately there's nothing much can be done because the california utility commission has passed this for the next two years you're stuck with this and it is likely that solar is going to become unviable in the in in california and a lot of you are not going to be buying solar unless you buy it with a battery the reason it could work okay with a battery is because instead of exporting energy to the grid you would just store it in your battery and then use it later now of course the problem with batteries is they are humongously expensive 15 grand it's really expensive adding batteries but that's the only way solar is going to survive after the 14th but for all you folks who are watching this video today go ahead book your solar system today anybody who books their system you only have to say yes before the 14th if you say yes by the 13th of april 2023 you will be grandfathered into the current net metering program which means that you have terrific payback periods with the current net metering program you get your money back your investment back in less than six years whereas with the new program your payback period is going to jump it's become double 12 years so it's a huge difference don't waste time immediately get in touch with your with your local solar companies get quotes and sign up for solar before the 14th email me john at mysolarhome.com us and i'll help you go solar before the before nem 3.0 goes into effect anybody who signs up for solar by the 13th is good all it needs is your application should go to the utility company by that day you do not need to be installed by 13th of april you just need your application to go to the utility company by the 13th of april so people who sign up on the 12th or the, or, or the 13th of april can get into this program you will be grandfathered into the net metering the current net metering one is to one program for anybody who's gone solar earlier or are going solar now there's nothing to be worried about you are all grandfathered in even folks who are going to go solar this year up till the 13th of april you're good you will be grandfathered into the current program and have one is to one net metering for the next 20 years so for you folks there's nothing to worry about but anybody else who's thinking in California about going solar, make your decision quickly. Make sure you put in your applications and sign up with your solar companies by before the 13th of April, 2023. I hope you like this video. Do like and subscribe and you have a great day.